In this video, we are going to develop a stamp for current controlled current sources. For a current controlled current source, the value of the current source is controlled by the current in another branch in the circuit. So our controlling variable is a current. And as a result, we need that current to be one of the variables in our unknown vector x. So one way to do that is to include in our circuit a short circuit, which is in series with that branch. A short circuit is nothing but a zero-valued voltage source. And so if we, once we add this short circuit or this zero-valued voltage source, the current in that source or the current in that short circuit becomes one of our variables in X. And now we can have a stamp for our current controlled current source. I think this is best illustrated using an example. So let us take a look at the circuit here. So here we have the circuit and we have a controlled current source in it. So the value of this current source here is alpha IE, IE being the current in this resistor. And in this circuit, we have four nodes. So we have V1 at node one, the voltage V2 at node two, node three, and node four. Now, as I said earlier, in order for us to have IE as the controlling variable for this current source, we need IE to be one of our variables in the unknown vector X. And as a result, we need to put a zero valued voltage source or a short circuit in series with a resistor GE. So we add this short circuit over here, and this results actually in another node, node five now. So now we have node four and node five connected together here with a short circuit. And the current IE is the current in this short circuit. So at this point now, we can start writing KCL. So we start with node one. So KCL at node one, is the current in resistor GS. So that's just GS V1 minus V2. Remember, we're adding the currents leaving the node. So the current leaving the node, leaving node one through GS is GS V1 minus V2. <coughs> the current leaving node one in the voltage source is IS. So as you remember from the stamp for a voltage source, we need to define the current in a voltage source as well as one of our variables. Um, then we write KCL at node two. So here we have the current in GS. So that's the current leaving node two now. So that's GS V2 minus V1. The current leaving node two through GE is GE V2 minus V4. And the current leaving node two in the current source, right, is minus alpha IE, right? And I can write that right now because IE is one of our, var our variables, as we will see later. So um, then we have KCL at node three. So again, we can put KCL here. So we have the current in GC, which is GCV3 and the current in the current source, which is alpha IE. KCL at node four, so this is our node four here. So we have the current in the resistor, right? So that's GE V4 minus V2. So GE V4 minus V2 plus the current in the short circuit, which is IE. And KCL finally at node five is the current in the resistor G capital E. So that's G E V five plus the current leaving node five through the short circuit that is minus I. So here we have five KCL equations, but notice we added two additional variables. I S the current in the voltage source and I E the current in the short circuit. So we have two additional variables. We need two additional equations, and these are the models for the voltage source and the model for the short circuit. So our voltage source, or rather the short circuit model, 
is simply v4 equals to v5 or v4 minus v5 equals zero. And the model for the voltage source tells us that Vs is equal to V1, right? So the voltage at V1 is simply the voltage drop here, so that's Vs. So that is my um, set of equations. And here we can see the impact of our controlled source, right? So they were we had two separate impacts, if you will. One is we had to add this short circuit here. Right, so we have the contribution of the short circuit, which is a short circuit stamp. We've seen that before, or a zero-valued voltage source. Right, and once we have this, this would allow us to have IE as one of our variables. Now we can add the contribution of the current source, which simply appears in the KCL equations at node 3 and node 2, where the, where the current source is connected. Right, so here we have the alpha IE and alpha IE over here. Okay. Okay, so we can now uh, essentially infer or generalize a stamp for a current controlled current source, hopefully. Um, for a current controlled current source, you need a short circuit. So part of the the current controlled current source is a short circuit between node j and j prime. So we need a short circuit stamp between node j and j prime. And what is a short circuit stamp? It's a zero valued voltage source. So we have to add a new column and a new row. This new column will correspond to the new variable, which is the current in that, in that short circuit. So my short circuit stamp really will have a plus one and minus one in row j, row j prime, and these are simply adding and subtracting the currents. So you add the current is in KCL at node j and subtract it in KCL at node j prime. And the other part of my control, so we added a new variable is, we need a new equation, and that equation simply tells us that vj is equal to vj prime, so vj minus vj prime equals zero. So we have plus one and minus one in the columns, column j and column j prime. Right? And this is my new row, this is the short circuit model. Okay. The other part of the uh, current controlled current source stamp is the fact that we have to add now AIS and subtract AIS at node K and node K prime. So this appears at the KCL equations in row K and row K prime. So in row K and row K prime, I have A here in the IS column, in this new column. So that means we are adding AIS and subtracting AIS. So that is our generalized stamp for a current controlled current source. Maybe we will end by an example, right? Simply, uh, you know, taking that initial circuit and writing the same equations we did by hand earlier but using stamps right so let us you know start with the stamps of resistors so we start with gs and if you remember the stamp of a resistor right gs is connected between node 1 and node 2 so this stamp will appear in row 1 row 2 column 1 column 2 we have gs minus gs minus gs gs okay so let's add now the stamp for GE. So GE again appears between now node 2 and node 4. So the stamp appears between row 2, row 4, column 2, column 4. Again we have GE minus GE minus GE, GE. So that's the stamp for our resistor GE. Uh, now let's add the stamp for resistor G capital E. So in this case, G capital E is connected between node 5 and ground. So this one will appear only on the diagonal, row 5, column 5, and we have G. Um, next, we will do the resistor GC. And GC is connected between node 3 and ground. So it will appear on the diagonal, row 3, column 3. So we've done all the resistors. Let's now add the stamp for the voltage source. So the voltage source 
is connected between node one and ground, but we also have to add a new row and a new column, right? So it, the stamp for the voltage source is, we have a plus one and minus one and VS. So this plus one here is adding IS to the KCL equation at node one. And this new row, right? This is the model for my voltage source. So it's saying plus one multiplied by V1 is equal to Vs. So that is my stamp for the voltage source. And now we can get to our controlled source. So a portion of our controlled source, we had to add this short circuit or a zero valued voltage source. So let's take a look at the stamp for of the short circuit. So what is the stamp of a short circuit? You can think of it as a voltage source with zero value, right? So we have to, again, add another row and column, which correspond to this. So the column will correspond to this variable IE here. And the row is the model for, for the short circuit. So our stamp here is plus one minus one, plus one minus one, the same as a voltage source, except that here we have a zero. It's a zero valued voltage source. Okay, so what are we doing here? We're adding plus one and minus one. Essentially, we're adding IE and subtracting IE in KCL equations in row four and row five, right? And this plus one and minus one is the model for my voltage source. It appears in column four, column five, and it's telling me that V4 minus V5 is equal to zero. Okay, so that's the stamp for the short circuit. Now the controlled source itself, well, that appears, so we have alpha IE and it appears, right, uh, in um, the same column because alpha multiplies IE, right, but it appears in row two and row three where the current source is connected. So it appears in KCL equations in at row two and row three. So we have a minus alpha and a plus alpha here. Right, so the final stamp of our uh, current controlled current source in this circuit, right, we'll have a plus one minus one plus one minus one for the short circuit, and we have a minus alpha and a plus alpha for the current source. So that concludes our stamp for a current controlled current source.